and intermittent right now and most of this is actually in the form of some drizzle but as we go throughout the afternoon I'll show you here just a second a slug of moisture that's moving in from the south and west and that's what's going to be giving us a little bit of wet activity for us as we head into your afternoon. So while it's a little quiet right now, let's look at your temperatures because it's kind of cool, but actually when you put this into comparison to the average, we're above the average. The average is about 40, 39 degrees. The coolest temperature we have right now looks like it's 47 for West Branch, Harrison, and also here in Mount Pleasant, 49 at Ithaca. We're at 48 in Frankenmuth, 49 in Vassar, but then we jump into the 50s for Auburn and Burton, both at 51. We're at 50 in Ubley this morning. So not a bad start. Again, we should be a lot cooler than this. And partly the reason why we're seeing the warmer temperatures it's because of the cloud cover. Remember clouds at night, they keep you slightly warmer than if you had clear skies. But what will happen is over the next 24 hours, we'll watch this wave of moisture that we're seeing down to the south and west of our area moving in by late morning and into the early afternoon. That's out ahead of a cold front, and that cold front is what's going to change things up for us as far as our temperatures are concerned, allowing for some cooler air to move into lower Michigan as we head into the weekend and early next week. So here's the round of moisture. The heaviest will be from the Tri-City South, and when I say heaviest, it, we're not talking about very heavy rainfall. We're looking at maybe a quarter of an inch max for some of those observation sites to pick up. And we need all the rain we can get because we're actually running a bit of a deficit by almost four inches in a few locations. But I talked about the front. So this is out ahead of the front. Here's where the front is right now. And notice some snow even showing up across portions of the Dakotas. That's some significantly cooler air moving in. And it really won't change our afternoon high temperatures up a lot. But our overnight lows will start to change up. And I think we'll start to become used to seeing 30s as opposed to these 40s and 50s. And some of us could even approach freezing as we go to next week for those overnight lows. So here we are this morning starting out with just some areas of drizzle. But again, future cast shows that slug of moisture moving in a little after one o'clock. The heaviest rain will stay along and south of Interstate 69 and then we'll see it tapering off by about 9 10 o'clock when you're heading to bed this evening. Overnight, we'll see a little bit of patchy drizzle left over. Still holding on to clouds will be slightly cooler with temperatures into the low 40s, but then that front that one that changes things up for us for the weekend. It will arrive late Friday with a few more showers. We hold on to the shower and thunderstorm risk, at least I should say showers more so than thunderstorms going from Saturday into Sunday. Notice though temperatures are a little cooler at night into the upper 30s and next week we may struggle to get out of the upper 40s for highs Tuesday and Wednesday.